This is Susan Collins. May I ask who is calling? Hello, Chairman Collins. This is Sam Dewey from your staff. Are you calling from the IRS? No, Senator. I'm actually over here. Cool. Is actually the perfect technology for Susan Collins to be demonstrating. Just think about it. It's all about temporarily pretending to be one thing and then disappointing everyone when you reveal who you actually are. But, but despite sounding like urban dictionary slang for when magicians shoot heroin, <laughs> spoofing is undeniably effective. Robocallers can pretend to be calling from your area, increasing the chance that you will pick up. And individual scammers can even pretend to be someone that you know, as one reporter found out. Cybersecurity expert Jim Stickley sets up his phone to call my mom, posing as me. Hi, Jeff. Hey, Mom, real quick, I need your social security number. Fill out some beneficiary forms. Can you help me out real quick? Well, what? I've got this beneficiary form. <laughs> I just need to fill it out. What's your social security number real fast? Uh, oh, Great. Thanks a lot, Mom. Love you. That's it. That's it. I've got a social security number. Holy shit. Literally everything about that was upsetting, from the fact that Jeff Rosson had someone scam his own mother, to the fact that she fell for it, to his amazing reaction when he realises that his mother did something stupid, to his bold choice to broadcast his own mother's stupidity on national television, to the fact that this man just told another man's mother that he loves her, to the revelation that he thinks Jeff Rosson sounds like a middle-aged man squeezing his own balls, to the fact that Jeff Rosson could really use a new shirt. The point is, there's a lot happening in that clip, and none of it is good. Also, also a, a quick side note on that. His mother's social security number wasn't bleeped to protect her identity. It had to be censored because her social security number is fuck shit fuck dash cock twat dash take jizz shit tits. It wasn't her choice. It wasn't her choice. Blame the social security administration.